What's up guys? It's the M. Dotson Project back here with another video. So this one we got another Spock, which this is one I don't think I've even seen. Didn't know it was out. It may be old, it may be new. I don't know. But we just got him into the shop here. So I figured I'd do an unboxing and this is a kit. It is called the EPRIV kit by Smock. It's a 230 watt device. I believe it's two dual 18 650s. We'll have to see. I'll look here in a second on the back after I get this plastic off, but that's what I'm going to do first. So that's probably going to give me a fuss. But got a nice big screwdriver here, which that might have just not have helped whatsoever. There we go. Plastic off, screwdriver down. So on the front here, it tells you the colorway, which is the black and red. My favorite looking thing. Comes with a new V12 Prince dual mesh coil. I don't know how that does compared to the normal mesh. I really, I've done plenty of other unboxings with that Prince tank. I'm not super impressed. Not my favorite thing out there. But it does look good on top of this box. But I can't wait to see what the actual box looks like. So on the side. You get to see the new coils, or just at least pictures of the coils, what it comes with. So it comes with an original mesh and the dual mesh, which looks like just two, two little things, little mesh coils right there. And they go from, the dual mesh goes from 50 to 80, just the, nor the max mesh goes from 70 to 130, so that's interesting. And then on the back, you get your normal, talk about what it comes with and everything yeah we're not gonna go through that it's your normal sides right there with all that other information so let's get the sleeve off BAM normal smock box no differences yet still the same thing but it looks still looks nice I'll give them that I still like that presentation I think it's I like it at least. I wish all the boxes had that. I think it just looks really nice with that black cardboard. So on the top here you do get your mod but we'll take a look at that in a second. It's an interesting looking one. A feeling one. So then in normal fashion you got your little piece of styrofoam. The mod was on. You get your warranty card which we've all seen. You get your battery safety card. Which I do also like that, that they still send it, even though it's in every box you see, still like that because it shows, teaches everybody about safety who buys that thing, as long as they read them, which you should if you're new to vaping. Smock manual, right there. Then you get your O-rings and stuff, and they didn't put a braided cable in there. I'm kind of disappointed on that. Side smock, you've been doing well with everything else I've unboxed. You've had your braided USB cables, and I've loved that. And I think you should stick with that. You also get a replaceable glass for the tank, which is just a standard glass. It's not that uh, bubble glass, which we'll see here in a second. You get your max mesh coil right there. And they were about to get the tank out. See how that looks. I'll put that on the box real quick. And then we'll take a look at the box. Although real quick, that's what your 510, that's about the size. It's a smaller one. But of course the tank fits on it pretty well. No overhang or anything since it matches. So then up on the side here, you get your button, which like clicks all the way, I think like close to the bottom. That's a long way. It's going to be really easy to press this, which is good when you're trying to do it. It's going to be bad when you're not trying to do it. <laughs> so, and it says V12 on these sides right there by the screen. And your screen's actually right here. I'm wondering, the screen looks a bit different. A little bit different on that picture right here. Looks different than normal ones. I am kind of curious to see what these are like with batteries. And it is a dual 18650 with a trap door style. 
And then so on the back you get a bunch of, it says EPRIV, and then you get a bunch of bolts. I guess match. So it's actually, it's a decent feeling mod. It's a smaller one. Easy to hold, easy to grip. I do feel as if that plastic or whatever this is made out of is a bit slippery. I think it'll be easy to fall. But I mean, I don't think for the most part it'll be easy to hold. But I do find that it is a little bit slippery in some of them because it's made with the same material all throughout. No rubber, no different type of like grooves or paint. It's all that smooth paint. But yeah, it is definitely an interesting looking mod. Maybe one day I will see how this does. But yeah, if you guys own one, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, and yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next.